Hello everyone, this is Pablo with Crafties915 and today I'm going to show you how to do some print and cut stickers using our GCC Expert 2LX and our inkjet printer. So if you want to learn how to do print and cut uh, stickers, stick around. Okay, so here I am on my Great Cut 4 uh, program. And I'm going to change my working area from my default working area, which is a 14 by 14 uh, working area to a letter size. So I go to settings, working area, click on letter. I'm going to change it to a landscape mode and I'm going to click okay. Okay, so here I'm going to add or import so I click on File, Import, and I'm going to import the image that I'll be working with. And it is this image. Of a skull with a headdress. Now this uh, is about three and a half inches wide by four inches tall. So what I will do with this, notice that I have my margins already set on my working area because I want to account for the margins on my, um, my sticker sheet, which is an eight and a half by 11. Um, and your printer has to have some margins um, on it, you know, that it's not gonna print on. So here I place my, my image, I'm going to rotate it by flipping this axis A. I'm gonna place it right around there. And then I'm going to copy. So I'm going to edit, copy. Okay, it will uh, take a while for it to process. It's a very detailed image. Uh, my computer's slow today. I don't know what's, uh, what's going on. Maybe I have too many programs opened in the background, but um, there it is. Now I'm going to paste and notice that my lower, my bottom uh, left hand corner tells me the position that it's going to be placed uh, on. And then this one, I will move it a little bit more that way. This one a little bit up, so that it gives me room to, to work. Okay, and then I'm going to place the next one. And I'm going to place the next one also. So I have four copies here of my skull with a headdress. Okay. And I'm going to select all by dragging above them and I'm going to click on design and group. Okay, so I'm grouping all of these into, uh, you know, one uh, image group. Now I'm going to tools and set register marks. Now the register marks notice that they're outside of my uh, working area or outside of my, my sheet. So I'm going to drag you know, the, these, the register marks in. So I'm going to drag this one right inside the margins so that they will be printed. And there we go. So now I can print this sheet, you know, send it over to the printer. Before I do any contour lines, I'm going to print this. Okay, so to print, we're going to go to File, Print, and make sure that you have your correct printer selected. Um, I'm going to print in landscape mode, okay. Uh, and make, make sure that all objects are selected to print and just click on OK.
Okay, so there's our full sheet of stickers already printed. Now it's time to send them to the Expert to LX cutter and cut them. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place my sticker sheet, my printed sticker sheet on a backing, okay? On a a carrier sheet. This is a Caesar uh, carrier sheet and it's available on our website. If you don't have a carrier sheet, then what's going to happen is that you're going to have to allow wider margins on your paper and that takes print area out. So with my backing sheet placed, I'm going to place my sticker sheet. Now before you do this, allow the, the ink to dry. If you don't, then you're going to smudge everything. So depending on your printer, you may have to wait a little bit. So now that it's on the carrier sheet, let's uh, place it on our cutter and do the cutting. Okay, so the use of a uh, carrier sheet allows you to place the rollers, the pinch rollers on your cutter on the carrier sheet itself and not directly on the on the paper on the on the sticker sheet. So now with that done, I'm going to reset my origin by pressing origin set button three times. And it's going to read where those pinch rollers are. And then with my cutter offline, I'm going to move my my blade to be right above that register mark. That is your first registration mark that the cutter has to read in order for it to do a good contour cut. So with that set, I'm going to press the origin set button and now bring my cutter online. So now let's go and cut. Okay, so now it's time for you to set your contour lines or your contour uh, cut lines. So with this image, now the reason they regrouped it is because I'm going to just click on any where on the image and it's going to select the whole thing. If this was not grouped, then you would have to select each one and that's gonna throw you off. So now with that grouped, I'm going to go to this button and create contour line, or just press the K key. Okay, I have it in accuracy low. The color, you can change the color of your contour lines. I have it in, in this weird lime green. And then the contour offset is going to be 0.1 inches corner round. And that's to give it, you know, this nice uh, sticker look. Okay, so click on calculate. And there you go. It created the contour lines around. You know, you can barely see them, but they're there. And so now it's ready to cut. So I click on file output okay click on ok now make sure that you are on the right mode you're, you're cutting with automatic alignment system aas okay and the output profile i'm going to change this to sticker cutting and um, i'm going to show you in another video how to manage and create different profiles but i already have a sticker cutting profile 
Okay, and this is going to preview. And that's what's going to cut on my cutter. So I click on output. And there it is. It's reading the register marks. And depending on how bright your room is, it may have trouble reading. And so there, I'm going to tell you right off the bat that my room is too bright. And so it has an error. Okay. And so sometimes you'll encounter this. If your room is too bright, you know, because it is a glossy, you know, paper, you know, all that brightness is going to interfere with the laser beam and it's going to, you know, uh, uh, malfunction. It's not going to read those uh, register marks correctly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it back online. Okay, clear that error and let's try it again with less lighting. So I'm going to turn off a couple of lights and try it again. Okay, there you go. So with less lighting, uh, it read the register marks perfectly. It cut and now let's uh, take off the excess from our uh, sticker sheet. Okay, so I'm back to my regular lighting and I'm going to take this sheet off my carrier sheet. Put my carrier sheet back where it belongs for later use. And now here's my stickers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off, you know, the edge first. Let me take my weeding tool. off this edge oops made a mistake right there okay and now I'm going to peel off the excess from the carrier sheet For my sticker sheet, not the carrier sheet. Okay, 
And there we go. Four beautiful stickers that you can sell or you can use for yourself. Okay, let, let's take it a step further. If you're going to sell, you know, these stickers, um, what you want to do is, you know, you can sell the whole sheet or you can sell individual stickers. And, uh, you know, you want to cut off, you know, the, the excess, you know, backing paper so that it looks nice. It, lo it looks professional. So let's do that. sticker paper that I got, I know I'm going to uh, get that question asked, is I bought it from Amazon and it's a waterproof glossy sticker paper. And so... There you go. And you can sell these for, you know, three, four bucks each. And it only costs you about 60 cents to print the whole sheet. All right, so thank you for watching and uh, hitting that subscribe button and liking our videos. It would really help us grow our channel. I hope that you learned something today. I hope that you learned how to print and cut uh, stickers. So you can use your full color printer. You can use your, you know, basic uh, one color printer and, you know, print your sticker paper, cut it with your uh, Expert 2LX and, you know, you can be, you know, making money, uh, you know, selling stickers or, you know, you can just go ahead and uh, print stickers for yourself and, and your family. So thank you for watching and happy crafting.